In this video, we are going to be discussing relative rates of reaction. And the purpose of relative rates of reaction is to be able to determine what is the rate of formation or consumption of one species given another species rate of consumption or generation. And so what I've done here is drawn a generic chemical reaction in which we have A moles of A reacting with B moles of B to form C moles of C and D moles of D. And what the relative rates of reaction equation tells us is that we'll have minus RA over A, the rate of moles of A that are being generated. So I just want to be very explicit here. RA is equivalent to the moles of A that are generated per cubic meter per time. And I'll try to make this clear. And because A is a reactant, it is on the left side of our equation, we're going to have this negative sign to the left of it. This is equal to minus the rate of generation of B divided by how the stoichiometric coefficient of species B. Again, we have this negative sign because it is a reactant. This is also equivalent to plus the rate of generation of component C divided by however many moles of C we're making. And this is also equivalent to the rate of generation of component D divided by however many moles of component D are generated per reaction event. And so, given RA, what is RC? And so to work through this generically, and then I'll provide an actual example with numbers, uh, what we can say here is that we know that minus RA over A must be equivalent to plus RC over C. If we multiply both sides of the equation, we'll find that RC is really equal to minus C over A, the stoichiometric coefficients of species A and C, times RA. And so now to provide an actual example, let's consider the following in which we have two moles of NO reacting with oxygen to form, and it doesn't matter if this is an equilibrium or not, um, two moles of NO2. I just want to make that clear. Uh, if we form four moles per cubic meter per second of NO2, what is the rate consumption of O2? And so the first thing that we're going to do to solve this is recognize that the stoichiometric coefficient in front of species B, which in this case is O2, B is equal to 1, and C, the stoichiometric coefficient in front of the NO2, is equal to 2. And we're also going to make a note of that because O2 is on the left side of this equation, we're going to stick a negative sign in front of it. So we're going to say that minus RB over B is equivalent to plus RC over C. Rearranging this to actually evaluate um, what our, uh, sorry, what the rate of consumption of O2 is, we can now say that RB is equal to, and we'll have minus B over C times RC, which is equal to minus 1 over 2 times 4 mole per cubic meter per second, which is equal to minus 2 mole per cubic meter per second. Okay, and so um, I know this was a pretty basic example, but when you get a lot more complicated numbers, sticking to this equation and remembering to keep track of whether or not something was on the left or right side of the equation so that you know to have a plus or minus sign um, is very important. I hope this video helps. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.